now we are we're here downtown in front of a sadly dilapidated rail yard once a really bustling restaurant here in Gloversville now it's struggling out behind there is the caboose not open tonight um, my friend Megan doing their best to keep this place alive definitely not easy with nothing else open down here crazy this is downtown Gloversville which used to be over where I'm looking at right now is the uh, where the upper deck uh, connection brothers to whatever it was your generation is um, it used to always be a bustling place on a Thursday night can I uh, the cellar upper deck uh, all three on all three floors and of course uh, the strip club upstairs I guess was pretty good at one point none of it's even open it doesn't look like Dave's sports bar is open down there literally just the, the only person in downtown Gloversville and there would literally be hundreds of people down here back in the day here in this part two of downtown Gloversville at night I want to give a shout out to my buddy Jack Morrison for reaching out he, apparently he's got a pretty good YouTube family going here thank you for any help you're gonna give me Jackson lifelong friend I really do appreciate it um, I appreciate Jamie Ward the content he's uh, provided me also Jim Hart my uncle Jim some of his amazing uh, work with animals aquariums the guy can literally build anything I'm excited to to get some more of his videos on my page just thought I'd give YouTube a shot I appreciate everybody that's uh, subscribed I'm gonna get some better cameras some better microphones and uh, I'm gonna be getting to work out here doing some videos this is just the absolute beginning but this video is a big disappointment because there's absolutely nobody in Gloversville down here underneath the sign at TGO's hot dogs legendary hot dog location here in Gloversville um, yeah the signs still remain they haven't been open in several years but great place to get dogs back in the day apparently this gem's still down here Mr. G's get your haircut down here long time area business Right here on Fulton Street in Gloversville, the Adirondack Street and Glassworks. I'm looking for this, the Cannabis Collective down here, uh, Jason Amberzino, but I'm not exactly sure where it's located. I know the other stuff here. Maybe this is where the party is. I, I can see some party lights upstairs. As we're approaching Main Street. It's between 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning. Down there towards New York lunch. You can actually hear the... Literally everything... We've ever had still here at Rossbeck Shoes. I don't want to get too close at 12:30 in the morning, but Lesenberry Rossbeck Shoes here in Gloversville. They have more stuff piled in there than uh, they even know. Downtown clock here with its. Uh, Weird Back to the Future vibes. Got the wrong time and date, but yeah.
They're going to be living on a prayer down here on September 15th for the Bon Jovi tribute of the Globe Theater. That's like the Globe Theater Museum, apparently. Industrial women. I know uh, Trisha and Sarah over at uh, Townsend Letter Leather. They're going to be part of this about the globe making history here in Gloversville. Some other things coming up here at the globe. Check this out, see if there's a dial tone. Nope. Completely dead phone here on Main Street in Gloversville. Absolutely nothing going on in Gloversville. Well, we're wrapping up here in Gloversville because there's absolutely nothing going on. Cumberland Farms, very disappointed here late at night. Believe this, DJ Rock? This is just about 1 o'clock in the morning. You can take a nap in Gloversville. This is the Todd Brower Show reporting live from Gloversville. Hopefully, next video will. Why is it a little better? We're out.